Hey everybody, it is time to spin this wheel and find out which vintage retro type game we're playing this week. Haven't done it in a while. Let's do it now. Let's find out what's it going to be. Something good, I hope. Ooh, Game Boy Advance Mario Kart Super Circuit. An interesting choice. Let's do it. All right, everybody. It is Mario Kart Super Circuit. Uh, this game is the fourth best-selling game on the Game Boy Advance. The best-selling non-Pokemon game on the Game Boy Advance and just generally beloved. Now, here's the thing is that it is widely known, and people talk about this all the time, about how the Game Boy Advance was essentially a shrunk down Super Nintendo. It basically had the same capabilities, the same kind of design as the SNES. And that is why it is such a beloved handheld. That is why it is so great, and why so many of the games on it are so great. I love my Game Boy Advance. I remember uh, I got mine at a GameStop uh, and then I would play it when I was in college. You know, I, I would pull out my Game Boy Advance. Those Castlevania games especially, there are some excellent games on the Game Boy Advance. And, you know, due in no small part to the fact that, like, you know, uh, every console by the end of its life cycle, people have really figured out the quirks, the kinks, the workarounds, the ways to make a game even better than it would have otherwise been. And so a lot of times those late games in a console's lifespan are some of the best. Well, if the GBA is an extension of the lifespan of the Super Nintendo, then there you go you get some excellent games now here's the funny thing about it is that mario kart super circuit does in fact play a lot like the original mario kart but the funny thing about the original mario kart is that if you go back and look at it 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 looks kind of terrible <laughs> like i am always surprised by how kind of terrible that game looks uh because it is it legitimately is kind of not the best you know whenever i have set up my little emulation console in my classroom and let my students play some old school games you know like after school or you know days before a major holiday that kind of thing you know when there's not anything going on uh yeah if they've ever asked to play Mario Kart, that's the one that I have on that console. And like, they are always underwhelmed by the original Mario Kart. And I would tell them like, this is how we did it back in the day. Um, yeah, this version, Mario Kart Super Circuit, looks so much cleaner, so much nicer than the original Mario Kart. Um, it's just the original Mario Kart was a necessary beginning. It got us off the ground, it started the series, um, and that game was very much beloved in its day. It's just, we didn't know how much better graphics were going to get at the time. Uh, but better is exactly what they got. So, yeah, it's interesting. It's fun that that is kind of the, uh, the genealogy, the origin of Mario Kart Super Circuit. Now, you're going to see me play horribly the first time around. Uh, that's because I was like, I'm going to put my big boy pants on. I'm going to play 150 cc's and I'm not going to, you know, cherry pick just the best character. I got to play random. It gave me Yosh. And uh, as we all know, the Yosh is, uh, you know, he's okay. There are better characters to play in Mario Kart. I mean, everybody has their own preferences. Let's put it that way. And Yoshi is not typically my preference. Uh, yeah. Anyway, and so after I lose badly in the first go-round, 
uh, then I do the very gutless thing and just go 50cc, I choose Toad, uh, and yeah, there, away we go, then I start winning. Yep, that's, that's how it goes. So, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, so my playing is not as good as it should be. I, I need to put some more time into this game, obviously. I haven't played it in a long time. But, like, uh, part of that is due to the fact that I forgot how it works. I've been playing too much Mario Kart on newer consoles where, like, drift mechanics are important, you know? Uh, Cause like my all time favorite Mario Kart is uh, the one on the GameCube, Double Dash. Like what a cool wrinkle. I would like to see like that two character, one driving, one throwing the things. Uh, I'd like to see that make a comeback. Like just a Double Dash mode in regular Mario Kart. Next Mario Kart game, Nintendo, please bring that back. But the other thing is that like, you know, even though it was available as a concept before uh, the GameCube, I didn't learn how to drift in Mario Kart until the GameCube. And then um, I started doing a lot better at Mario Kart. I used to get my butt handed to me on Mario Kart. And the thing about it is that I went into this game expecting to have to like break to drift. Um, which you can, you can do. It will slow you way down. That's because with this game, very much like the original, the drifting is done automatically. If you just turn hard, it will go into a drift. And so I kept hitting the brakes on every turn. And so that accounts for a part, not all, not me steering off the edge of the map and all that sort of nonsense. Uh, you know, me just generally uh, running into walls and playing poorly, uh, running into the sand and all that. Like, it doesn't account for that, but it does account for me being a little bit slower than I otherwise would have been. Uh, so yeah, that is very much a thing and very much something, uh, to be aware of if you're going to play this, because this is old school in its feel, but man there is a ton of game on Mario Kart Super Circuit. A surprising amount of game um, because you get three game modes. Uh, actually, actually, technically you get four, but the fourth one is only unlockable if you're playing multiplayer and that's battle mode. Yeah, classic battle mode. Uh, an underrated thing that like is not always people don't always want to play it but I love battle mode that's the mode that I fell in love with the most back on the SNES so uh, yeah if you have a game link cable you can get up to four people playing off of one cartridge you don't even have to have, you know, four copies of the game to be able to play it via Game Link, which is awesome. Not all the Game Link games did that. I mean, Pokemon sure didn't. Uh, so yeah, it's it's really cool that, you know, the, the battle mode is there as a sort of hidden extra feature if you can get the Game Link and, you know, link up with other people. Uh, so, other things about it, other game modes. So you have your circuit mode, you have time trial, and then you have a quick race. Uh, so the first thing I did was did a quick race, lost horribly, and then I went into a circuit, um, and that's when I was doing the 50cc with Toad and started actually doing well, you know, and also started figuring out the controls a little bit. Um, yeah, it's very simple controls. You gotta remember that. Like, you know, uh, subsequent Mario Karts got slightly, but not way more involved. And this one is, uh, yeah, it's old school. So just go into it with that understanding. But man, is it fun. And are the tracks well designed? They really are. 
there's so much game here and it's a lot of fun single player is fun i imagine multiplayer is fun i've never played multiplayer but because i'm playing an emulation i could just set up another controller and you know ready to set go here we go let's do it uh so yeah that that would be interesting and fun i'm gonna have to try that sometime um but yeah what would you get here is a very very awesome and involved and fully featured mario kart on a console that you would think is a little undersized and underpowered to do such a thing but it's not because if it's a mini snes then the snes is what the original came out on and here we go this is the evolution this is the next step this is what it would have this is what mario kart would have been uh if you know it came out after everybody had figured out all of the kinks and wrinkles and things on the snes and so that being what it is it is a really really good entry in the mario kart series and so yeah don't sleep on this one because it is super much fun um i remember the first time i played it i think i played it at a kiosk in a walmart i'm <laughs> pretty sure if i'm remembering correctly and uh yeah yeah i remember winning that first race and being like oh oh this is fun this is a good time uh yeah so <laughs> ended up getting the game based on how much for the you know kiosks in my experience of my time uh, there, there are very few games that I have purchased via kiosk um you know I'm thinking this one I'm thinking uh you know uh new Super Mario Bros Wii end of list i i think that's about it honestly I'm trying to remember i don't like i may have played tony hawk pro skater on a kiosk i would have bought that anyway <laughs> i mean word of mouth and everything on that game was too high so yeah this is one of a very few games that i played on kiosk it was like and now we have to buy it <laughs> so yeah, very, very excellent little game. Let me put a final score on it. Okay, so Mario Kart Super Circuit. It is an excellent little Mario Kart, and that is why we are giving it a 9 out of a possible 10 Toads, quote-unquote, celebrating. Uh, and I say, quote-unquote, celebrating because... When I grab this sprite, and this sprite is from the original Mario Kart, it looks like it's flipping you off. That's for real. You look at Toad celebrating, he is flipping you the bird. That is 100% accurate. Anyway, I am not flipping you the bird. Uh, I am hoping that you enjoyed this video, and uh, I will see you in the next one, people. Thank you for being here for this one. Thank you for supporting this channel and all of those things. All right, people. Okay. Bye.